Change is the only constant. Do you know that now we have Python in Excel? As of now, it's available only for beta signed up people in the Microsoft Insider program and gradually will be rolled out for public use. Therefore, this becomes very important to update our skills and learn new functionality of the Excel with Python. Being said that, I have come up with very hot topic, Python lookup in Excel. Over the time, we all have learned lookup, hlookup, vlookup, index match, xlookup, the recent one. Now it's time to roll up our sleeves and learn new way of lookup using pandas in Excel. I know that this sounds fancy, but trust me, this is really great. So let's pick it. So before we understand that how Python lookup actually it works in the Excel, it's important to understand the join concept. So join clause is used to combine the rows from two or more tables based on the related matched values. Okay, so let's understand this with the help of the two table, table one on the left hand side, table two on the right hand side. So what is left join? So when you apply the left join, it will return all the value from the table one and the values which is common in between table one and table two, right? So mean to say that your this section of the table will not come into the picture for the left join. And if we talk about for the right join, so for the right join, this will not come into the picture because this is on the left hand side. So your right join will capture only the table two and the intersection point between the table one and table two. All right. Okay. Now moving on to the inner join. So inner join is something which will give you the results for the table one and the table two and will match only those values and will return only those records where the table one and table two, they have the commonality. Right. So only the common, the intersection point will get written. On the other hand, if I talk about the outer join, so for the outer join, table one will also come into the picture, table two also will come into the picture and the intersection point as well, right? So for, so for those values where there is no match, it will return the error, right? The null errors or a NA, not a number error, okay? So I hope this concept is clear. Now let's dive into the Excel data to understand this thing in the practical form. To make it simple to understand, I have created two tables, table A on the left hand side, table B on the right hand side. So I have created two named ranges here. So for my table A, it's data 1. So for table B, it's data 2, right? So just to correlate it with the concept we have discussed about the join, I have created in this example in this form, okay? So we have three headers here, department, salary per month, employee ID. And in table B, joining date, employee ID and employee name. So it's clearly visible that employee ID is the column identifier that we can use in order to look up. Okay, so uh, next question it may comes in your mind that from where we can locate the Python, right? So you just need to go in the formulas and then click on this one. So here it's giving you the option Python in Excel. Okay, uh, so there are three ways actually uh, how you can write the Python code. Either you use the traditional method is equal to VLOOKUP, is equal to SUMIF, is equal to PY as well, right? The second one directly go to this one and click on the Python in Excel. Third one, it's a long method, but they call it a shortcut. I tend to forget it many times, Control or shift p But these three methods, they are performing the same thing, so no need to memorize. Okay, so is equal to PY, in order to perform the pandas lookup, first thing is to define the data frame, right? So how we can do this, uh, you need to pass the data table one and store this information in the data frame. Okay, so I'm naming it as DF1 and do not forget to use the control plus enter to commit the Python code. Control enter, it will give you the data frame. And in this data frame, it holds the information, your column name, your rows and 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 24, these are the index positioning, okay? But this is of no use for me, right, as of now, because I would like to see the Excel values. So go to this option here and click on the Excel values. See, we get all the information, department, salary per month, employee ID. This is nothing but exact the same copy of your table A, but now stored in the form of the data frame. Alright, same exercise we need to perform for the table B. 
so without wasting time let's quickly run here okay uh, this is giving me a wrong method because I have not used the pi, uh, py so is equal to py is must is equal to py and then your data to table range and then I'm storing this information in the df2 uh, the data frame okay again the data frame converting it into the excel value see we get exactly same information table a table b now this is my df1 this is my df2 now we can start with the pandas lookup so is equal to py so for pandas we use pd pd dot and the keyword here is merge what we would like to merge here df1 and df2 df1 is my left table df2 is my right table okay so df1 and then df2 all right how, what is the column identifier so we know that employee id is the common column here right employee id now how you would like to perform the join so whether you would like to use the inner left outer right so let's go with the inner join so what inner join will perform here inner join between the table one between the table two whatever the common values commonalities right this will give you the result now control enter data frame we can convert this into the excel value perfect see now we have the five columns here so that's the merge of df1 and df2 department then salary per month employee id joining date and employee name right so both the table has been merged and only those values are appearing which is common right in the same way you can perform it for other joins as well for example let's say for the left join so now from the left join your left table table a values will come all the all the records will come but from the table b only those records will come which is fulfilling the needs right which is common which is intersecting now for the right again just click on this one and type here how is equal to right so right table is short right see we, we just have like nine records here so that's the reason we are getting only nine here okay so total nine so till here we are good let's perform the last one as well outer so for outer this time it will this table will be long because there are more than rec more than uh, uh, you know 25 plus records here are here because now here the table a and table b all those values and all, all all the all the records are actually appearing here with the help of the outer okay you, now you must be wondering that uh, how to get rid of this value error num error right because uh, this is distorting my data right so how we can do that uh, so first of all uh, I'm storing this outer join information in my df3 okay df3 is nothing but this is the result of the outer join right so now in order to read off so guys you can expand this as well because it's not uh, possible to get everything in one line of the code in pandas so sometimes you have to write more than you know one line of the code as well so in df3 in order to get rid of the value error the num error there's a method which we can use here df3 dot drop na is the keyword guys right and how you would like to drop na so i'm just saying any any is the method okay and then storing this information back in df3 and then just writing here the df3 so now this should remove all the errors from my data okay so control enter see all the errors has been removed all right okay so now let's say that uh, basis on this information i would like to sum up the salary right so you have you need um, because you need to pass here the condition in in excel we need to pass the condition in a different way right but now here in one particular uh, module of the code we can pass multiple conditions as well right so how we can do that in df3 what is my column name 
so column name is salary per month okay so this is my column name and I would like to sum I would like to use the sum which is the aggregate function now this will give me one particular cell information in one cell right this will not give you the records because aggregate function we are using here right so I'm storing this df3 salary one dot sum in a new data frame let's call it a new data frame and type here new df to print the result control enter see we are getting the result 573156 you would like to check it going one step back see 1573156 one, it's the exact the same right uh, let's take another example uh, for example let's say uh, I'm just taking one step ahead here let's reach up to this one okay now uh, from this table if I would like to focus on those records where the salary is greater than 90,000 right so you can pass multiple conditions as well guys right so greater than 90,000 93023 administration should come IT should come facility should come transport should come right so how we can achieve this in df3 we already have dropped the anise so nothing to worry about so in df3 what is the column name that i'm using here that is the salary per month and then this one and the condition is that it should be greater than 90000 1 2 3 all right this is 90000 okay now again i have to write the df3 and then close this one and save this again back to the df3 the data frame right all right and now just type the df3 to print the results so ideally four records should come administration it facilities and your transport let's see whether it's coming or not guys we are getting the error because df is not something which we have defined so we need to mention here the df3 all right see the four records are appearing so guys that's the power of the pandas that's the power of the python in excel so with that i take a pause and i hope you have liked this video please do like share and subscribe to my youtube channel for all upcoming videos notification and do share your comments that how do you think what do you feel about this uh, Python in Excel, right? I see you in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.